Hey, I am the Highlander. Welcome. I'm making this video to show how to install the hyperspeed kernel on the Ultimate 64. Now, I've made a video about this previously, but that was for an older version of the firmware. So I got a request to make a new video, and here it is. First thing you have to do is download the correct hyperspeed kernel file. You can do that by going to the Ultimate Facebook group, and there is a download there somewhere. Good luck finding it. There is also the possibility of downloading the 3.10F version of the Ultimate firmware, and there is the file in there. Once you have it, you have to plug it into your Ultimate so that it can see it. Then you go to your menu, and you go to wherever you saved it. I've got a little ROMs folder, so I go in there, and here it is, the hyper or the kernel hyper 3.10f.bin file. If I press enter on this, I can set this as kernel ROM. That will do two things. One, it'll recognize the file as a kernel file so that it'll be available uh, for selection as a kernel file, a kernel bin uh, image. Uh, and it'll also make it the active uh, kernel file. So all I do is press enter here. I run stop out of this. You'll see it's still got the old kernel here. So what I need to do is go in the menu and reboot the machine. When you come back, it'll say Ultimate 64, and you'll know you have the hyperspeed kernel installed. Now, this doesn't mean that all your loads will be blisteringly fast uh, immediately. There's still a couple of devices connected now, at least device number eight, which will be your emulated 1541 drive, but we won't be using that because the hyperspeed kernel does a little trick that it skips the entire emulation of the drive and goes directly to the file system. We need a new device to do that. So which device is that? You go into the menu, you, uh, you press F2, and you go to Software IEC Settings. I press Enter, and there you can see that the soft drive bus ID is 10. So that is the device uh, that I use for the hyperspeed uh, access. I can make that any device number. So if I make that 8 or 9, it will conflict with your emulated 1541 drive. You can do that if you want that, uh, but I am choosing to use device number 10 here. Save that to Flash. Now the next thing you do, if you want to start loading your games quickly, you go to whatever game you like. Uh, I've been playing Dig Dug Revival, which I recommend all of you do. You go in here, and you see the disk image. Now, don't mount it. You can mount it, but you don't need to mount it. We're going to access this data directly. So you press right arrow on this to enter into the disk image. Now I press F5 and I go to Software IEC. I press Enter, and then I say Set Directory Here. And that's all she wrote. Now I go to Run Stop to go back here, and I can do Load Directory, comma, 10. And it will give me the directory. That's really neat. Uh, my, my 8 drive is still there as well, but there's nothing mounted on that. Let's forget that. I can also press the, the At uh, symbol, It'll uh, give me the disk status. Nice little thing if I do new. We all know there's no list here now. Because I've used device 10 once now, it is the current device. All I have to do now is press dollar, and it'll print the directory entry without actually making it uh, a basic listing. So that's handy. The fastest way of loading the last active file on this disk is just to press shift run stop which I will do, and you'll see that it'll run the game immediately. Press a little button. This is a really good game, by the way, but um, for fast loading, this is all you need to know. Uh, also, it is handy to know that this does not work for all games, especially multi-loaders, when they use their own loading logic and they go into the kernel routines and uh, don't encounter something that is supposed to be there, it just won't work. I've tried Sam's Journey this way on disk. Forget it. It won't work. But for uh, most of the, uh, the single loads, it's just blisteringly fast. So if you have any questions uh, or, or links, I, I'll, I'll put the links in the description. Uh, put your questions in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.